almost done with the story. Enjoy the video. First things first, I started with Altered Stage before I had to redo his Ultra in for the reset. I tried to focus on that this episode and his story and some parts of the Undead Legion. So the fight was really easy, nothing much happened. We, I died on the first two tries, but after that it just got really easy. It's slow, but we managed to pull through with it. So this is the sagas I focused on. I focused on Shadows of War, Shadows of War Part 2, Shadows of Chaos, and I sh also focused on the Island of Fatir, Dejas Island, and I also focused on Reps. So as you can see, I finished the Shadows of Chaos, I finished the Shadows of War, and I started with Shadows of War 2. And that took some time because it was very tanky mobs there, and there's very quiet maps as well. Eventually, I got it finished. Then I also focused on the Dangerous Island. This took some time because it was also dead maps. I also been using like Orc Paladin. I also focused on Island of Fatir because I needed to do that in order to start with also Dage. And as you can see, I also finished the Dage Evil Island as well. I started farming Mega Tendarius because I needed to get Blaze Binder, so I needed like a farming class. Octopus is nice, and it's really good for undead farming. As you can see, I got Embassy rank 10, and I bought the Darkness Sigil and the Flame Sigil for Blaze Binder. I also farmed during the Reputation Boost. This was took less some time as well. I think it took like two reps boosts, but. And see I got the class. While I was farming for Vainglory, the Force Enchantment, I decided to do the Defeat Chaos Lord Ultra Altion for the reputation for Sword Haven. I managed to get to rank 10 while I was farming for the, I think the Gauntlet for Vainglory. And as you can see I managed to get the rank 10 and I bought the class. Before I started farming for the Vainglory, I decided to do the Inferno Pyromancer Armor because this gives me a 35% damage boost and has no level requirements, so it's quite good. After finishing the Inferno Pyromancer Armor, I decided to do the second last quest for Ascension because I'm level 90. I need to be level 100 to be do the last quest. I did Ultra Artrex, that took forever. Then I managed to get the Shadow Reaper of Doom because it's required for his second last quest, I believe. And I also decided to get the boost on for the XP since it was the double XP for the server boost. So I completed the artifact hunting quest and I went to level 91. But this, this is where the game broke. I honestly, this was so funny. I completed, I went to automatic level 92. I looked at my XP ball, BAM! Right after I finished the the whole Ascension, the second last quest, I did the Undead Legion questline and I managed to solo the beast and this took a couple of tries. Well that's it for this episode, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So for the next episode I'll be focusing on the Vain Glory, the Arm of All, the Blind and Light of Destiny and the Sagas. So there'll be the Darkened Saga, Mimit's Realm, and the books of monsters and I'll be focusing on the side quests as well and there are also other maps as well like there's over a hundred maps I still need to do so this is going to take some time and do these quests are very boring I'm like falling asleep while I was doing the sagas for Shadow of War I yo that took some time anyways I'll be focusing on that if I have, have time I might do a class or two or a rep but I won't guarantee any of that. I will try to focus on the story because I want to have that hurdle out of my way. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And always, cheers! Take these moves, man! Oh yeah! Take these moves, man! Yeah! Check their links below so you can have a nice day further. Peace! Don't wanna be ya! I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. As always, I hope you guys have a nice day further. Cheers, man.